Hello friends and followers, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing for you uh, Lalit Jaipur Buffet, which you can find in this hotel. And let's see what kind of presentation we have inside and which options are here. We have visited the Lalit uh, uh, Buffet for dinner time, which is usually from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. So this is a buffet option. There are different buffets here, but we have chosen the uh, buffet dinner. And this is how the restaurant looks like. Actually, the restaurant works 24 by 7. So any time of the day or night, you can get a food here. Location is uh, next to the central courtyard, which is after reception if you follow the corridor. So one part of the restaurant looks uh, to the, uh, has a view to this nice, cozy uh uh, this uh, fountain presentation water side of area which is kind of you know cozy and nice it's like a lounge area you can uh, stay lie down there sit and chat and uh, a lot of people actually resting by this area it's very nice I like this area uh, of this inner yard especially well so this is the whole of the restaurant you have a plenty of different seating options if you're a big family small family big or small company of friends or either you can come solo or in couple how does it matter uh, you will be offered a table up to your taste and likings facing this uh, inner yard or you can face another side of the area i believe there was live music also when we came but i'm not sure because i didn't catch it on video so anyways this is how the area looks as you can see uh, it's not very very crowded there are plenty of seats for you let's start from the soups uh, which are usually doing the same sequence so here uh, we have a vegetable manchow soup. Actually, there were three soups there. There was one vegetable manchow. There was uh, cream of the chicken soup also, which uh, I chose and I pretty much liked it. It was very nice. As you can see, there are some um, options of the breads also just next to the soup station. Then after on the same station, you have uh, a salad bar. So there's some vegetables cut. Actually, this uh, part of the buffet, I like the least because these vegetables and the shots, which you can see right now, they seem very dry for me. It looked like they were cut a very, very long time ago. It did not look appetizing at all. So I had to skip it. And barbecue prawn salad also, like the taste was weird. I don't know, I cannot, uh, cannot say uh, that I liked it. It did not seem very, you know, very, very fresh for me. So uh, that's why I just came for Russian salad and I came uh, for some quinoa salad uh, because this option seemed slightly more uh, healthy and slightly more fresh for me. So this was my choice, healthy quinoa salad. Now we are coming to another counter and this is a main counter in the buffet and here you can see some options for the snacks. They are all veg. There are crispy vegetables and honey chili sauce. There are cheese cigars also. So they are also warmed up by the lamp. Here this is just the right side beginning of the buffet table. Here we have some papad and some Indian snacks as starters. And a non-veg dish is a lamb cannelloni, Italian style, which is one of my favorite snacks also. You can see it's a main dish, but it's a snack for me. Amritsari machi masala also is another non-veg dish here. <laughs> Not too much of it left, but anyways, it's here. Then we have a vegetable uh, dam biryani, which is a veg dish. It was very yummy, by the way. I like this biryani a lot. It was very nicely prepared and it was uh, very flavorful. And we have stuffed eggplant here also, a veg dish. Um, for me, it's also a snack. I, it's one of my faves. I like it a lot. I like eggplants with the cheese and vegetables on top of this. So I always go for it. I was very glad to see it in a buffet. We have a vegetables and dumpling sauce, a veg dish, and also we have an option of veg uh, noodles. There is a gentleman helping himself with, a, as I can see, most probably uh, 
palak paneer. So I will go for another dish which is right here. This dish has a name of Baigan Mirch Ka Salam and this is a veg dish. It looks very very yummy. Then we have a cauliflower in the palak sauce. And there is some vegetable sauce. So this is how my first plate, uh, plate looked. I have a cheese cigar here also. I have a little bit of everything. A Rajasthani traditional dish which looks like a bowl. And this is how is the best way to go for the buffet. Very light, a bit of everything just to tie and taste. Let's continue with the buffet. We have Urlai roast here. Actually, I've, uh, this is the dish I wanted to show you. This is a uh, dry gobi with some spices also. You can see exact name of the dish also on the plate. And this is, by the way, the open kitchen. So what I really liked about this buffet, uh, the kitchen was open uh, by the window. So you can see everything that uh, the staff is doing in the kitchen. And I think it's, this is a very nice feature. I always like to watch... Uh, you know, stuff works, how they do dishes. This is a, some kind of, you know, uh, experience also, which goes with the buffet to some restaurants also. And I really like it. It shows, you know, a little bit of open thing. Then uh, we have a plain body here. This is actually what I had on my plate. This is, as I understood, tra uh, traditional Rajasthani dish. And we have uh, just a plain rice here, as you can see. Uh, yeah, just a steamed plain rice. And this is the end of the buffet table. So keep in mind that this buffet, this is the main buffet area, is that long only. So if you expect a lot, a lot of different dishes here, much more than here. So keep in mind that this buffet will look like this. And of the main course, these will be the options. I'm back to the first counter where we had soup, salads, and here we have some option of desserts. Uh, some of them I liked a lot. There are not all of them were left when we came because we came actually almost in the end of the buffet. So there were uh, some options just were absent here. Just I this cup of rasmala, of course, I took to try. Uh, gulab churma was here. Wheat churma was here, besan churma was here also. I tried one of them, I think, and I pretty much liked it. It's a traditional Indian uh, dessert, of course. Uh, Golab jamun, traditional classic Indian dessert in a sweet, sweet sugar syrup. And here we also have a cabinet pudding. I really wanted to try it. Unfortunately, I had no space left for this, though I like puddings a lot. And I try to uh, take a small portion at least. So these are desserts. These are all desserts options which are in this buffet. This is pretty much uh, all of the buffet which I wanted to show in this video. And this is the buffet which you will see actually at the dinner. My guess that the lunch buffet is just approximately the same. The price for one adult person is 1350 Indian rupees, which is approximately $16 or 15 euros for right now in the car exchange in rates. So this is up, uh, up to you to decide is this amount of food worth it or not. As for me, uh, I was ready to pay slightly more to see more options or in the buffet, more dishes, you know, more variety. So as for me, just it was a slightly, you know, limited options uh, of the food items. I really wanted a little bit of more and I really did not like the salad cutting and this vegetables cutting. They were evidently very dry and they were old. So this was a minus I'm putting for this place. Anyways, it's up to you. Is it the way you like your buffet or you really think this price worth it? Yes, no, you can put in the comments, by the way, below. You are very welcome for this. Uh, and this is uh, the buffet which you will experience in Lalit Jaipur Hotel for the dinner if you will come. So I try to show you maximum of the options for this buffet so you know what Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you find something interesting useful for you and you know should you come here or not. 
Uh, see you next videos. Bye.